Okay, Morgan, what are we talking about today? Today, we're going to talk about what to do and what not to do when dressing for a Zoom interview. Hey guys, welcome into the Morgan Mix. I am Morgan Overholt and I do a lot of Zoom interviews every year. I'm Elena O'Neill and I try my best to get out of Zoom interviews. <laughs> to be honest, the interview is probably the wrong word because technically speaking, I am a freelancer and self-employed. And so I do more like client discovery calls and interviews per se, but you could definitely say that I knew a thing or two about kind of how to dress for Zoom. Now, before we get into this list of 11 do's and don'ts, I do want to give one quick disclaimer. A lot of this isn't like insanely important. All right. I mean, for the most part, as long as you got like some decent clothes on, nothing crazy, no crazy jewelry, no crazy hairstyle, just you're mo mostly not very distracting and you got pants on, you're probably good to go. All right. So just kind of, but you can kind of use this video as more or less a guideline. So here's some do's and don'ts, just some quick tips. If you have a zoom interview coming up, number one, do opt for business casual. Um, usually that's kind of a go-to if you're doing a virtual interview. So that means long pants or trousers, knee length skirts, blouses, button down shirts, polo shirts, blazers, sports coats, khakis, ties, and sweaters are also just fine. I'd say don't go over the top. If you show up in like a three-piece suit, they're going to be a little bit like, okay. Number two, don't wear graphic tees or divisive messaging. All right. I don't care how passionate you are about your political cause. I don't care who you voted for. I don't, you definitely shouldn't be showing up with that political t-shirt to the interview because basically you're going to immediately uh make half the room pretty angry at you okay number three do strive for comfort if you ever heard the old adage when you look good you feel good um, basically you don't really want to be sitting there during your interview and sweating or scratching or itching or just being incredibly uncomfortable. And you're just thinking about that instead of focusing on what the interview question is trying to ask you. So even though you do want to look um, professional, you probably also want to be comfortable. I actually saw that in person one time, somebody showed up for an in-person interview at my old job and they were sweating profusely. I don't remember what oh. they're wearing but I remember the sweat. So just kind of keep that in mind. <laughs> Number four, don't get too comfortable. All right. So we just told you to make sure that you're comfortable, but I also recommend not doing this thing from bed with your hair undone, you know, with, with a plain white, like half see through t-shirt on that you just slipped in last night, you know, nothing like leisure wear do try to at least kind of show up that, you know, looking like you tried. Number five, I think this is a big one. Do wear pants. This is a really funny one. And I think this is one of the things that COVID taught us. Uh, COVID taught us a lot of, a lot of things. And I think one of those things is wear pants when you're on zoom, because even if you think, okay, well, um, I'm only going to be showing from about here up. I don't need to wear pants. Oh, yeah. I forgot something in the next room. Hang on one second. Let's go get it real quick. Yeah, exactly. So how many Zoom fails have we seen circulating on the internet these days? We just don't want to be one of those people. Just wear the pants. At the very, very, very least, wear shorts. If you really are anti-pants, at least have something on. Don't go viral on YouTube because of your interview. Uh, number six, don't overdress. Like I said at the top of this, a three-piece suit is going to be a little strange. You don't want to come across as desperate either. And you also want to kind of keep the nature of the job in mind. You know, think about their company culture, maybe, and how they normally dress. It's unlikely that they're showing up looking like they're uh, dressed for their wedding day. Number seven, do utilize good lighting. I think Morgan here is the queen of good lighting. Invest in just a little ring light. You know, I think everybody has one these days, again, in the era of COVID, but here I am with a ring light off and a ring light on. This is with a ring light on, and this is with the ring light off. On, off. In fact, I can actually link to a couple of my personal favorite ring lights um, and even lights attached to your computer monitor um, in the description below. Okay, number eight. Uh, don't blend into the background. All right. So this might seem kind of strange. You might be wondering why is this important uh, for a couple of reasons. Like I've actually seen people try to use those um, fake backgrounds, you know, that you see or the virtual backgrounds, whatever you call it. And they'll wear something that the camera can't quite detect or like you'll blend into the background. And then you just look like a floating head because half your body's missing. So I would just be a little bit aware of kind of like what you're wearing. Make sure that you're popping little bits. So you've got a nice white background. Maybe wear like a nice dark color like I'm wearing today. You just don't want to look like a floating head essentially. Number nine, do wear tasteful jewelry and accessories. Um, this one is kind of more for the ladies, but I guess could pertain to anybody. You know, you basically just don't want to be distracting when you're interviewing, just try to keep it kind of simple and classic. So I think of, you know, stud earrings, a basic necklace, um, probably no face jewelry, 
just going to keep it simple. Number 10, don't go overboard with those accessories. Like Elena was just saying. So, um, you know, don't do it where anything is crazy distracting. Again, I was kind of going back to the sweat example earlier where I remember this girl interviewing and all I remember is how sweaty she was and not what she was actually wearing. So you don't want what you're wearing to do all the talking. You don't want people to be staring at you. You, you want them to remember you for what you said and what you, you can do, not what you're wearing, you know, on your body or on your face. And finally, our last tip, do arrive early and test everything out before the interview. How many Zoom interviews have we started out this year of just, hey, can you hear me? Oh, this isn't working. Oh, my battery is dead. Oh, this is, you know, technical difficulty insert here. Once again, you know, you just want to kind of hit the ground running. You don't really want people to remember you for either being late or just like couldn't get anything to work. And that's the last thing you want your person that you're interv interviewing you to focus on. You just want to make sure that you, everything is good to go. Your microphone's working, um, screen's working, your laptop's not dying. Just make sure all the technical things are accounted for. We're all tired of telling you guys to unmute yourselves. All right, I need us a t-shirt that says you're on mute. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's edition of the Morgan Mix. Please like, and subscribe, and we'll be here next time.